A most heinous crime in the village of Yo Creek Orange Walk took place last Friday at the hands of a madman, a schizophrenic patient with a history of drug abuse, chopped six persons to various parts of their bodies around midday. From all accounts, the attack was unprovoked and life-threatening. If you look at that alone, I think anybody will say that a rational, um, a rationally thinking person would not do something like that. So it's very likely that mental illness or a, me a mental state, a psychotic mental state, could have been at play here. Mental illness per se does not predict violence. Um, we have <clears throat> quite a number of people who have been diagnosed with mental disorders. And if you follow the statistics from the World Health Organization, you have 25% of your population with mental illness. And it, if, if you could um, relate that to our population, you, will, you don't find 25% of Belizeans um, committing your violent crime. So obviously mental illness is not a predictor of violence. And I, and I want to be very clear that there are a lot of people who suffer with mental health problems, who lead normal lives and who work and who are in no way violent. But when you, um, the statistics will tell you and the literature will tell you that if you add substance abuse to a mental disorder, it increases the likelihood of violence. Nurse Eleanor Bennett says that drug abuse in most cases creates a state of paranoia and delusion for persons living with a mental illness. Larry Banner was medically diagnosed back in 2009 with a mental illness. My nephew was, has a record of, of, of mental unstable, no? but um, besides that, he also consumes drugs. I can, uh, I can, I accept that, no? and um, I'm not here to justify his actions. No? And I, I express my condolence. I, I, I am. I can understand the feeling of the family, of the affected families, and um, and um, I just want to, I, on behalf of, of Larry and, and his mother, no, which who is more affected, no, to uh, think a little on on on, on his condition and his um, uh, medical um, stand status, and um, no, beg for uh, a little. And seek forgiveness. On Monday morning, the 31-year-old was arraigned in the Orange Walk Magistrate's Court for aggravated burglary and maim and remanded to the central prison in Hattieville pending other charges. But there were several reports made against Banner in the past. Prior to this incident, see Mr. Larry Banner, our records reveal that there are five reports made against him, but only one of them they requested police court action, where he was found guilty and he was bound over the peace for one year. All right? So all the others for the those for future reference, no court action requested. This is not the first time, it has been several times. He does it when he comes, they charge him, they lock him out, then he, then he behaves good. One year has been passed when I report him. He was behaving pretty good. And then just of a sudden, he will come and do this because to me it was a surprise. It is anticipated that a psychiatric evaluation will be ordered to determine whether Banner will be able to answer to the charges levied against him. Regular treatment will then be administered. Nurse Bennett says that the police have been trained to arrest violent persons and not be mental health professionals. We can't be the eyes and ears of every community. So um, what would happen in this case is that if a situation like this occurs and the person is obviously delusional, obviously saying things that don't make sense and threatening people on a regular basis, um, while it is important to call the mental health services, you have to appreciate that this is not a situation where a nurse and a doctor can intervene because this is somebody who is violent. So we can't be the frontline persons in this case because we don't know how to deal with violence. So calling the police is the, an important first step. Due to the fear, Yo Creek residents want that Banner, if released, be removed from the village. 
But Nurse Bennett says that that restriction is against his rights and treatment will be important for Banner if and when he's released. But does a person suffering from a mental illness belong behind prison walls? Is there an institution where they can be placed? It's several different um, levels of treatment. So first you have the acute unit. So we would keep somebody there for let's say a, a couple of weeks just to stabilize them. Once they're better, but not completely well, we can move them to the Palm Center. They're not going to live there because mental illnesses are treatable. These are things that we can treat. So um, we will- Even in terms of these violent- Even incidents? in terms of these violent situations, we don't have the right to keep anybody locked up forever because of a diagnosis. So that has to be absolutely clear. So once um, you have your illness have compensated, you don't have symptoms, and by your assessment, you can be discharged, then that is exactly what happens. Now, if the court still have interest with that person, then that person is sent back to the to courts, the court. and the courts then decide what to do with that person. Dwayne Moody for News 5.